have a, a, a point or two about how we can go and help uh, the religious pluralist realize that their way is yeah. mistaken? Yeah. Well, I, I think one way, what I prefer to do, number one, is ask questions. That's my preferred method for all apologetics, is uh, because questions make people the expert. Uh, questions show that you respect what, what they think. You want to know what they believe. Uh, you want to know why they believe it. Uh, questions linger with people. When you can't answer a question, it frustrates you. Mm -hmm. When you have a less than your best answer, every one of us has had that experience of being asked a question and responding in a way that was not terrible, but afterwards you go, I wish I'd said. Yeah. And so they stay with you. The only questions I remember from my PhD oral exams are the one question I had no answer for and the, and the other question that I could have had a better answer for. Yeah. So questions really work, but I, I try to target with my questions beliefs that people have that they don't know they have and thus they deny. Mm. Like frequently pluralists will say, well, there's no objective truth in areas of religion or they just say there's no objective truth. And I don't argue with them in epistemological terms about how we justify our beliefs and we, and that sort of thing. Uh, I just ask the question, have you ever been lied to? And of course, everybody's been, been yeah. lied to, yeah. but you can't have been lied to unless there's truth because a liar is someone who willfully misstates the truth, mm. who says, who knows what the truth is and states otherwise. Mm -hmm. And so, if you've been lied to, then there is such a thing as truth, and we all know that we've been lied to. Hi there, my name is Kurt Jerris. I'm an evangelical theologian, and I've come to realize that Bart Ehrman is correct.